Today we're going to be discussing all the different ways a team can grab and intake game objects. There are many ways one can design and build an object manipulator in VEX, and here's the most, here are the most common intakes that people can use in order to complete this task. To start off, we'll have a claw. It's composed of two arms, either moving parallel to the ground, like a claw in a trash truck, or perpendicular to the ground, like the claw in a claw machine. Typically, the arms are geared together to move inwards at the same speed at the same time, using one to two motors to power, depending on the weight of the object being lifted and the torque that you need. They also tend to funnel the game object into the robot and hold it tight until the operator is really ready to release the game object. As you can see, there are two major arms here, and as a game object would go in, obviously these two bars would support the load, but these would help funnel it to the middle. As for side rollers, which is a popular intake in last year's game, uh, they have two separate mechanisms on either side of the robot that are identical but mirrored to one another. They spin in opposite directions in order to either intake and funnel game objects into the robot or outtake and release the game objects in scoring. This, is required. this requires two motors, both sides are separate, and can easily be geared up or down to the robot depending on their goal, either speed or in taking uh, heavier objects. They also utilize frictional tank treads and uh, this flap system, which comes in that tank tread kit, um, in order to create a gripped surface for game objects to latch onto and have some friction with and compression. As for a top roller, uh, it's different from the side rollers in the sense that it hovers above the ground horizontally over here, um, and it only needs one motor uh, and one roller to operate. But obviously you can add as many as you want as you can see this team did add another one and probably have uh, two-ish motors on this whole system. Um, they can be made of the same material as the side rollers with their frictional tank treads and flaps, or they can have two sprockets and rubber bands stretching across. This allows for a constant pull of the object into the robot from all directions and has room for error in size and orientation of gamed objects if they are not perfectly aligned in the robot. So basically what this is saying is um, the balls or whatever game object it is that you are intaking with this roller um, can be funneled into the center after the roller. They can be picked up because there's a ramp back here and go start moving upwards. Um, whatever direction is needed, because it is vertical, it's not just going back, it's also going up. As for a conveyor, it's similar to the top roller, uh, except that it does not necessarily have to be top or side roller. So you can see this is kind of like an extended version of side rollers. However, um, it leads all the way to the top of their robot. Um, it does not have any major rollers in the front of the robot. Instead, it's one massive spread of frictional tank tread and flaps that works the same and grabs the objects up through the robot until it reaches its scoring mechanism, which on, in this robot, it is also the scoring mechanism. It is easy to make as it is one continuous chain and can use a variety of motors um, in order to allow for an increase in speed. Although it is not the best at funneling and grabbing objects, this object manipulator is better at moving and transporting the game object through the robot to the next subsystem seamlessly. Passive intakes that we'll just touch on um, is a very general category. The term passive means um, without the use of any motors in VEX. So a passive intake is an intake that can pick up and score game objects without the use of a motor. While this type of intake can be useful in saving a motor for something else, it is generally much harder to design, tune, and perfect more than a standard intake like the claw or rollers. In this robot, 62A from uh, in the zone, it utilized a passive intake with zip ties that were aimed upwards like this. So once uh, the lift pushed this intake down over the cone with these uh, little planes right here, the zip ties would get caught on that and push it up until it stacked it and then it pulled the intake down again. Because the uh, zip ties were like that, they could slip down, but they couldn't continue pushing up. Thank you for watching.